Alright, so now let's get into some of the bad things about this book. Like I said in the beginning, there really isn't very many. My least favorite thing, really, about this book is the line drawings. These are a lot better than the ones in the Peterson Field Guide, though, so I really can't complain much. You know, this book and these drawings have actually helped me to identify a couple plants that are in the Peterson Field Guides that the picture just wasn't good enough. The description was good, but there were some other plants around that looked similar. Not necessarily to these, but to the plants I was trying to identify. It made it really difficult. But you may notice that there's not pictures for every single plant here. There's not a drawing for every plant. So that's something that's kind of bad as well, is that you may be looking for something, but it may not be in here. Now this book generally covers plants that are native to North America, or plants that Native Americans in this continent used medicinally. Now there are a couple plants in here, like dandelion obviously isn't native to North America, but it's well worth mentioning because Indians did adopt it and it is a very valuable med medical use. Another bad thing I can think of about this book is the plants. Now there are a lot of plants in this book, and a lot of them you're going to find pretty much everywhere. Most of these plants grow all around the country, so that's actually a good thing, but the reason I think it's kind of a bad thing is because there are some other plants that are really common around where I live, and pro possibly where you live as well, that aren't going to be in this book that have some really good, amazing medical uses as well. So that that's kind of a bad thing, but not really. I guess that just depends on who you are and where you're at and what plants you really have around you. You can kind of get an idea there of what what kind of plants are in this book and how many are in this book. I believe there's actually over a hundred plants in this book, so I want to kind of talk about that as a bad thing because it's kind of a lot of information to digest, and if you're new to this, you really should probably take your time reading through this book and looking at the plants and understanding how they work, their medical definitions, etc. Now let's talk about why should you have this book? Why, why, why should I buy it? Why should you buy it? Well, you should only buy it if you're interested first and foremost. But if you really want to learn about medicinal plants and you want to learn how to use plants around that are not only edible but medicinal, this is what you want. This book has helped me to prepare a lot of different tinctures and teas, poultices, and salves over the couple years that I've been using it extensively. And it's because of this book that I've been able to get to the point to where I am to not really have to rely on over-the-counter medications. The Peterson Field Guide to Medicinal Plants helped quite a bit mainly with identification, but this book really helped me understand a lot of different uses. And you can cover almost any ailment that you may be thinking of with the plants that are in this book, or any ailment that you might possibly have. This book probably covers it. The only thing, I, the only couple things I can think of that aren't covered in this book are things like cysts. You know, some types of cancers aren't mentioned. You know, like autism, those kinds of things aren't mentioned. But other than that, so far, pretty much everything else you can think of medically is in this book. So there are some kind of views of the book, and here's kind of a view of a nice little line drawing. So as you can see, there are really a lot of reasons why one would want this book. There's a lot of reasons why one might not want this book. So I guess it really boils down to what you think this book is going to help you with and whether or not this book is going to be worth your time. You can find this book generally for sale on Amazon around $17 to $20, or you can find it in bookstores for around the same price. You know, It's well worth the buy. It's well worth the read. It's also well worth taking your time and making sure you understand it to its fullest.